Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Glitchcraft. In the last episode, we made a harvester, and we got some wood. Just a bit. You know, not a lot. But uh, this is actually the wood that I got overnight, just in one night. And that was after that. Yeah. Um, I kind of built a barn. Because I can't, like, build and be creative and talk at the same time. So I kind of... I, I, I try to do the buildy stuff off camera. Yeah. And I changed up the uh, pathway a little bit. I really like this idea. I kind of had to switch it up a little bit because I wanted the path leading up to the barn. But the barn door is four wide and the path used to be three wide. So I had to change it up a little bit slightly. And I have every intention of continuing the path off in that direction. And uh, continuing to expand my little village I have here. And all that fun stuff. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, yesterday we set this guy up. The harvester and the planter underneath it and the solar panels, which seem to be slightly glitched because it we all up at the top there. It says 50,000 out of 50,000 RF. Whereas if I right click on this, it says... Basically, no RF charge. But I'm not running out of power anywhere. It it all seems to be fine. So I'm more inclined to believe Weala than I am to believe the internal configuration thing. Yeah. So right now, I'm just using it to make some potatoes. I think I'm good on chicken, but I wanted a little bit of a backup, so I'm making potatoes. And so far, I've gotten a poisonous potato. Oh, and I did get wheat before. And that's because of inside the barn, which I will show off right now. See, I really like this barn and how it came together. It It's quite nice, actually. It, well, looks like a barn. Has animals in it. I need to get one of those uh, sound muffler things and put them in here to shut the fucking sheep up. They're annoying. But uh, this is why I needed wheat, is because there's a chicken back there. And it's stuck back there. It can't get out now. Okay, whatever. You can stay there. Um, yes, I wanted to put hay in the back of the barn like I'm storing it up to feed the sheep. I also want to put something else in here, but I'm not 100% sure what else goes in a barn. I mean, outside of like a tractor, but we don't have a tractor mod. I want a tractor mod. Zog, give me a tractor mod. Yeah. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to put this to good use, and we are going to make a wool farm, I guess I can call it. Basically, infinite wool. Uh, we're going to, what I'm going to have is I have this set up here, and we're going to have four sheep per pen, I guess we can call them. And we're, I'm going to set it up so that it shears the sheep automatically. So, like, I could just have 16 sheep, one for each keller, and then come by with shears and shear the sheep manually. But I have to actually remember to do that, and it only works when I'm online. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an automated way to do it. And I've done this before. I actually have the same exact kind of setup at my old place. Still going right now, in fact. Though I don't have a chunk loader there anymore. So it's only it, it's probably only going when Flames logged in, since he lives, like, right next door. Uh, but what do we need to make this? Well, we need the pens in the shape that it was there, and we need this stuff. And I'm fairly sure that's about it. We need all 16 dye. Well, technically, we need 15 dye because we're starting with white sheep, so I don't exactly need bone meal. We need some servos, we need some chests, we need some item ducts, uh, a big-ass chest to store everything in permanently, and a bunch of turtles. And these are shearing turtles, so basically I made a... Wait, shear? Yeah, shear. I made a shears and crafted them with the turtle, and now I have four shearing turtles, which I have named... Uh, 102, 103, and 104, because 101 is right there. Yee. He's my uh, axe turtle, my felling turtle. 
and uh, all of the zero zero like turtle zero zero one through I think like zero zero twelve or something like that is actually back at the old place. I use a lot of turtles, so let's grab all of our stuff. Might actually want to think about throwing this all into a chest over there, which I'm going to do. Boop. All right, so the plan for all of this is kind of a complicated one. And if, if you can think your way through it, it's relatively simple like it's understandable and e it's easier to understand if you can think your way how do i describe that you it's easy to do if you can think your way through it okay so the pens here they're designed so that there's one space in each little uh offshoot and then one space in the center those are the important parts right there so Basically, what's going to happen is one of our turtles are going to go there, which I'm not going to do just yet because I'm not set up for it quite yet. One of the turtles is going to go there. One sheep there, two sh second sheep there, third sheep, fourth sheep. So the turtle will be able to just turn around and access all four sheep. I have four pens set up like that, totaling an, or equaling a total of 16 sheep. One for each keller of dye. Whew, that's a pain in the ass. So how do we get all of the wool out of the turtle once it gets into the turtle, which is something I'll get to in a second. Well, the idea is I'm going to use the item ducts to get it to a giant diamond chest that I'm going to sit right here. So to do that, I want to go underground. So I'm going to dig down three blocks and dig forward, uh, God only knows how many, really. I'm going to have to kind of improvise and wing it. Uh, boop, boop. Where's the other one? So you get a hole there. All right. And it's one, two, three, four. And right now it's one, two, three, four. And then we are here, so one, two. One, two. All right, so if I'm correct, I go up here, and I'm right where I want to be. Whoop. And I am. Sweet. Awesome. 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 can't believe I just said that. All right. Now I need item ducts and chests. Is it dark already? Holy crap. I swear, the nights last forever, and the days are just too damn short. So put a chest there. Put a chest there. So I will set the turtles on top of the chests. So we will get, uh, let's go with number two and number three. Two. Three. All right. So the idea is that the turtles will shear the sheep and then drop the, drop the wool into the chest underneath it. And then the item ducts, which I need my servos, don't I? Let's grab my servos. The item ducts will take the wool out of the chests. Now, I would just have the uh, item ducts connected directly to the turtles, but I can't get it to work. I can't get item ducts to pull directly out of a turtle. I don't know if that's just a problem that I've had, and it's not supposed to work that way, or if it is actually supposed to work that way. But, uh, yeah, cannot pull items directly out of a turtle. So I get the turtle to drop into a chest and then get it to pull out of the chest. Boop, boop. All right, and then... Boop, and up. All right, into the big-ass chest, because I want the big-ass chest here. And then everything that goes into the chest. So if I throw, say, this chest into said chest, it gets sucked out, and it should, over the course of, I don't know how long, end up eventually into this chest. What are you? 
demon's chest. What's a demon chest? Oh, it's blood magic. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Yay. I took a sweet time, but it doesn't have to be fast for what we're doing since you can't exactly shear sheep very quickly. Now, please note that I built this thing on top of grass, and there's plenty of grass around it. Because, obviously, as we all know, for sheep to regrow their wool, they have to eat grass. And you don't want to let them continuously eat grass, like eat all of the grass. So you don't want like everything else to be stone except for like that block of grass because it will eat that block of grass and the grass will never grow back. So you do want plenty of grass around that the sheep cannot get to. Whew. All right, so uh, I need fence posts. And I will show you why. Come on, boop. Fence, 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 fence. I think it's the wrong color fence, but who cares? Wee. I love flying. I'm so glad I decided to cheat like that. All right, so fence post on the turtles. Because while the fence itself is a block and a half tall, a turtle is just under a block tall. So the, she the sheep could jump up onto the turtle and in theory, actually walk diagonally out of the barn. So, yeah. All right. And then we need a way to get the sheep into the pens. And I use a safari net for that because that's just easier. Boop. You all are loud bastards. You know that? Come on. Down. There. Up. There we go. Boop. All right. So now that turtle cannot, or now the sheep cannot go anywhere else outside of that block. And that's what we want. Boop. Boop. And a boop. Okay, now, in the know, viewers might look at this, the flowers here, and go, but because of the Jan Ganny's whatever surface mod that the poop comes from, fertilizes the grass growing flowers. Does that hurt the sheep's ability to eat the grass. No, it does not. So we don't have to worry about that. Boop. 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 And a boop. And let's go save this chicken. Here, chicken. Be free. It was it was taunting the sheep. The sh he's like, oh, haha, -ha, you stupid sheep. You're stuck in a pen. I'm free as a bird. And then it gets caught back there. Oops. Boop. There we go. All right. So now we have sheep in a pen. So let us die, said sheep. Uh, and I want black, gray, and light gray. So the first pen will be the uh, grayscale pen. So we have white, light gray, gray, and black. All right. And then the second one, hmm, blue, cyan, light blue, and purple. Yes, let's go with the blues. Why? I have no idea. Why I'm organizing this? I have no idea. I just am. Why not? I got nothing better to do, not really. Whoa, get back here. All right, boop. Boop, damn it. Wait, something doesn't feel right about that. These two are the same color, aren't they? Huh, all right, there you go. All right, so blue, cyan, light blue, and purple. I think I'm a little colorblind. They look like the four different colors to me, so I'm gonna go with that. All right, so now we have eight different colored sheep. But again, I'm going to have to make one of the sound mufflers because holy shit, you guys are loud. Annoying in my ear. So how do we get them to, how do we get the turtles to do what we need them to do? Well, we got to do a little programming. All right, so let's just, hmm, how do I want to do this? Eh, let's just go full bore. Edit, start up. Now, the startup file in the Craft OS, in Computer Craft, 
will run every time the turtle starts. So if I, you know, like if, if I don't have a chunk loader, if I log out and the chunk unloads itself, the turtle shuts off. Then I log back in, the turtle automatically starts up if it's got a startup program, and then it will run that program. So if I edit startup, and I create a program to run, it will run that program uh, every, when it's loaded. Just basically, whenever it's loaded, it will run that program. All right, so what we want to do is create an infinite loop. Uh, so we start with a while true do end b. And I always end my... Uh, conditionals or whatever. I always have the start and the end of a thing. That way I don't forget to end the thing. <laughs> Makes life easier when you're programming. All right, so while true, do. Uh, turtle.attack. I think it's turtle.attack. About to find out. Turtle.turn left. We could do this easier, couldn't we? Hang on, go back, 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 go back. Boop. Four. I equals one, comma, four, do. All right, now we have a for loop. Turtle dot attack. Turtle dot turn left. All right, and then sleep. Uh, 300. All right, so what we're doing here, and I think this is what I needed to do. Oh, no, it's not what I needed to do. Uh, not all I needed to do. Anyways, uh, for i equals 1, comma, 16, why the hell not, do, and turtle dot select i turtle dot drop down okay I think that's all it is I will walk through the steps of this cute little program and double check so while true do so while we get a response from a variable that is true that's what a while loop is basically while something is true do so if you put in uh, while I'll while uh, how do I explain what a while loop is? That's actually kind of complicated, isn't it? So if you're testing a variable and you're trying to figure out when a thing is happening, so while a thing is happening, you want it to do something. So while a test to see if the thing is happening and if it ends up being true it will return true do a thing so while true do so in this case just it always returns true so it will always loop so while true do and an end for i equals one so we're creating a for loop so um for every iteration of this loop this i variable here increments by one. I'm going to find out that I'm absolutely wrong on making this for loop, and I'm going to have to look it up, aren't I? Yeah, we'll find out here in a second. So every time this for loop loops, once it reaches its end and starts again, it increments the i variable by one. So the first time, i will equal one. And then the second time through, it will increment that by one, so i will equal two. The four here is when we want to stop the for loop. So when i equals four, it doesn't loop again. So for i equals one, for do, turtle.attack, which should shear the sheep in front of it, and then turtle.turn left, which will turn the turtle left, and then it will loop back again and do the attack, shear the sheep, turn left, shear the sheep, turn left, shear the sheep, turn left, and then stop that loop. So right now the turtle's facing that way. Every time it finishes that loop, the turtle will be facing that way. 
So when it starts over again, um, we're not like missing anything. All right, and then four, once again, I equals one comma 16 do. So again, this will uh, loop 16 times. It will turtle dot select I, and I'm using the variable here, I, to select the correct slot. So this is slot one, this is slot two, slot three, so on and so forth to slot 16. So what? Uh, for every individual iteration of this for loop, it will use whatever loop it's on to indicate what slot it wants to be on. So it will... Yeah, so for the first iteration, it'll select one. Second inter iteration, it'll select two, and so on and so forth, all the way up to 16. That way, I know the entire inventory is empty, and it'll do turtle dot drop down. So everything in this inventory, it will drop into the chest below it, and then it will end. And then sleep 300 is a command which I actually think is os.sleep, now that I think about it. Hang on. os.sleep. Yes, it's os.sleep 300, because this is all an API. So os.sleep, and the number in parentheses will tell it how many seconds you want it to sleep. And 300 seconds would be about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, 600 seconds would be six, no, 10 minutes, and 300 seconds, half that would be five minutes. So yes, okay. So every five minutes, it will run through this whole process and shear my sheep. So we hit control, save, control, exit, start up. Well, that appears to have worked, and I can't right-click on the chest. There we go. Yay! Yay! And it did exactly what I thought it would do. It left uh, the 16th slot selected. It's not going to hurt anything, considering what I'm doing. Or, considering how I programmed that, that's not going to hurt anything. So, basically, I just do it here. And uh, I will jump until it's finished. Alright, there we go. That should be it. Start up. Well, that didn't work. What the hell? It worked twice. Why didn't it work a second time? What the shit? All right, let's end that. Start up again. Maybe it was a lag kind of thing. No, something... Can it not hit the... What the hell? I am, I am a confused... Start up. It can't hit the turtles. Or it can't hit the sheep. Oop. And that's because of the poop in it. In it! You poopy bastards. Let's try that again. Nope. Damn it! What the hell? Hmm. All right, I'm a little confused because it's working and it's just a for loop. So it should work no matter what, but I think it's failing to work because of uh, the poop on the ground, which is annoying as shit. Hmm. I did not intend to make that pun. Hmm. Whatever. All right, so there we go. We have uh, eight sheep now making wool for me, and then we hit getting the wool here. And I've just got to repeat the process over here with eight more sheep. Uh, and I have to go get them, basically. <laughs> now, I could just mate them here, but that would be kind of a pain in the ass to get, the, get them out, wouldn't it? Eh, let's go find out. Whoop. Uh, I should have some wheat still left in here. Yes, I do. Probably going to need a little bit more wheat than that. 
considering I can only get four sheep here, so I'm going to have to still go out and get some more. Let's see what happens. You sheep and you sheep. And then I need my ball. Boop, safari ball. Come here, baby sheep. There we go. Oh, damn it. I need to put the turtles in. That way they don't get out of their little spots. Boop. And I need a that. Boop. And a boop. Okay. Now I can put the sheep in place. Alright, well, anyways. I think you get the point. I'm just basically going to be repeating this process over there. Shouldn't be too terribly hard. I want your offspring. Come here. I think they're stuck in the fence. I think that's the problem. Give me your offspring. There we go. It'll eventually settle down. I've, I, I didn't have this kind of problem before with it, so I think I think it will eventually settle down once it gets around to it. Wee. Come on, give me. There we go. So, yeah, I think it'll be fine later. I'm just going to have to wait and see. Guess I'll find out. Bah. Wait, is that a white sheep? How did I get a white sheep? Seriously, how did I get a white sheep? Like, they're... Yeah, that one was cyan and that one was purple. How did I get a white sheep? Seriously. Okay, that's weird as hell. Anyways. All right, so I will continue up this process. And they've got to grow up. So I'm going to end up the episode here. Boop. No idea what the hell I'm going to do tomorrow. Or at least in the next episode. I don't know if that's going to be tomorrow or not. But uh, till then, I will say to you guys as always, keep playing the game and have fun.